everybody and welcome to Matt and we are on to really one of our final lessons on time and we're kind of going back a little bit because last lesson on Thursday we looked at digital time. We're going to go back to analog now but we're going to be working at being really accurate and also reading digital time and transferring it to analog time. All sorts of different little skills. So let's start off with what we're doing. First of all it's a level up lesson so every time you hear this noise it means you're going to pause the video and go and complete one of the levels on the sheet. Then you come back, watch the next part of the video, pause it, and go and do that part of the sheet. So let's get cracking with level one. As I said, we're looking to read times to the nearest minute, and level one is a nice recap on stuff we were doing last week. You remember, we have our 12 hours on the clock, but we also have the tiny scale, which is our minutes scale. And the, behind the big hour numbers, well, those are five minutes. So as we go around the clock, it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and so on in minutes. Now, what we would like you to do on level one is to revise that skill, have a look at the time on the board like this one. Here I can see it is a past hour. So that's always step one. Look at if it's past or two. It's past eight o'clock. So it's past eight. And finally, how many minutes past eight? Well, I count round clockwise, remember, for the past times. Starting at zero, zero, five, ten, fifteen, or quarter past, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-five past eight. That's how you do the past times, remember? Then you might have a two time like this. Oh, we can see it's two because the minute hand is in the two half. It's going two, one, because it's past the twelve and it's going two, one. And here we count anti-clockwise, but still in five. We're looking to see how much of that journey for that minute hand is left until it finishes the hour at 12. So let's start at the 12, but count anti-clockwise. Zero, five, ten. So it is ten, two, one. So level one's just a nice revision. Off you go. Right, it's time to level up. Now, last week in our digital time on Thursday, we started talking about the tiny little minute intervals between those larger intervals on our scale of five minutes. So we've got our five minutes that we know about, but in between we've got all these tiny little dashes. Now, each of those dashes is worth one minute. So if we counted round them, you could see why we count in fives, but in between we can count in ones. And we're going to use those ones today, and we've got to be really, really accurate. So let's have a look at this time. This is a past time. We can see it's past seven, so all those rules apply. And we can count on in fives to see where we get to, starting at zero. Zero, five, ten, fifteen. Ooh, my minute hand isn't on fifteen yet, but it's also not on ten. So I can't say fifteen because I haven't gone that far. So let's get rid of the fifteen. Let's go back to the 10. First of all, I've counted to the nearest five, and I'm on 10. Now I'm going to start counting those smaller intervals, but remember they're only worth one, so I stop counting in fives, and I carry on counting in ones from 10, because I got to 10, I now carry on. 10, 11, 12. This is 12 minutes past. So I count in fives until I get near to my minute hand. I don't go past the minute hand. I go till I'm just before it, and then I count in ones. Let's try one more past time. Here you can see it's past two. My minute hand is in the past half, and my hour hand is just past two. Let's count in fives to the minute hand. Zero, five, 10, 15. Well, it's not quite at 20, so I'm gonna stop at 15 and carry on counting ones. 16, 17, 18. It is 18 minutes past two. Let's try a two time like this. Well, I can see it's two because my minute hand is in the two half. I can see we're going two, six. So we're on our way to six. We're past five, but we're going two, six. And remember, we count anti-clockwise. That rule still applies. Five, 10, 15, 20, now I don't go to 25 and then carry on counting clockwise again. I always must count in an anti-clockwise direction when I'm talking about two times. So I'm at 20. Now that's counting ones because we can't go to 25 because my minute hand hasn't got there yet. 21, 22, 22 minutes to. So that's how you do it. You count in fives until you get near the minute hand, never go past it, 
and then you carry on from where you got to, but you count in ones. Now, on level two, we tell you if it is a past time or a two time. So you'll know whether to count in a clockwise direction or an anti-clockwise direction. So pause the video and have a go at level two. Welcome back. Let's level up to level three. Now, level three is very similar to level two. The only difference is we're not telling you if it's a past or if it's a two time. So you've got to look at the time, decide, well, it's a past time, so I'm going to count clockwise, or this is a two time, so I've got to count anti-clockwise. But the same rules apply as level two. Is it past or two? What hour is it past or two? Then count in fives. And when you get near the minute hand, don't go past him. When you get near the minute hand, start counting, carrying on in ones. Off you go for level three. How are you getting on? Hopefully you're doing really well, I'm sure you are. Let's try level four, let's level up. So level four is very different because technically we've changed the objective altogether. What we would like you now to do is draw a time on the clock. Now we're gonna give you some digital times like this. And you've got to be very careful. The first thing you've got to recognize, well, is it past or two? this digital time. Well, remember, if the minutes are less than 30, or 30 exactly, it is a past time. If they're any more than 30, then it's a two time, because our minutes round our clock, they're up to 30 on the past time, and they're over 30 on our two times. So, this one says 28. Well, that is still in the past time. So, I'll count clockwise for 28. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28. And I'll put my minute hand on the 28. Now we can see my hour, well that is 10 o'clock, so I'm 28 minutes past 10. So I'm not gonna put my hour exactly on 10. I'm gonna make sure it's past 10, and 28 is nearly half past 10. So I'm just gonna put it just before it gets halfway between 10 and 11, because it's journeyed past 10. It's on its way to 11, but it's definitely still in the past half. Let's have a look at one more, this one. Now, the minutes here say 42. Now, I'm not just because I know that's now a two time because it's gone past 30, I'm not actually going to count an anti clockwise direction here. I'm going to still count in a clockwise direction, but this time I'm going to go all the way up to 42 because it's 42 minutes past the hour, even though we're going to start talking about it going to the hour. Remember, digital time is very confusing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to our digital lesson from last week. So let's count round. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42. There's our minute hand. So we're going to the hour. 42 minutes past the hour, but we're 18 minutes to the hour. And what hour are we going to? Well, we're on our way to 3, because we're on 2 o'clock here, but we're going to 3. So we're in between 2 and 3. Now we're closer to 3, because we're 42 minutes past 2 and 18 minutes to 3. Very confusing numbers there. So I'm going to put my hour hand not exactly on two, but not exactly on three, but it's about nearly three quarters of the way round. So I'll put it about three quarters on its journey between two and three. Level four is tricky, but go and give it a go. Let me know how you got on with that one. Send as many pictures as you can to learninglockdown at gmail.com or tag us in on Twitter at learninglockdoone or on Instagram as well. Now, the boss challenge, that one is over to you. Some people have got a bit muddled with their time telling and you're going to go and explain how they got on. Well done for keeping up with this lesson. We'll see you a little bit later.